Hi guys, welcome back to new tutorial. Uh, well, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to configure the Omniverse environment and how to install the Isoclaws in the Omniverse and how to do the simulation things. I already uh, posted a lot of videos regarding these Isoclaws and Omniverse, how to clone and how to make the robot simulation uh, in the environment of Isoxim. So, in this video, we are going to see how to configure and how to launch the Omniverse in our RTX system. I'm using an Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, you, you are using a uh, Windows, you can install and you can uh, make the uh, AWS thing for uh, installing the Omniverse uh, is across thing. But uh, I, I, I got a lot of requests to like, request from my subscriber regarding this how to configure the Omniverse and how to launch the is across on the Omniverse and how to set up the things. I got a lot of command and a lot of. Uh, request from the subscribers so i start uh, this tutorial okay we'll start now you need to go to the ice cross uh, official uh, documentation i will uh, give their steps in my uh, description uh, but you need to follow the steps which they give in uh, the hostation installation hostation installation in there you can see the system requirement second is installation right launch that and here you need to go to start get start uh, download free kbln kb and you need to give your, your main id or thing i am giving my uh, college mail id karnya dot edu dot in here you need to give your organization karnya Loading it. Oh, once again, I need to try. Okay, give the name Kabilan KB Kabilan KB at Karunya dot e two dot in Karunya. Okay, here we need to give other and here job title is student and here in India and make a enterprise and a developer give submit and it will be open see your omniverse thank you for submission here we have two tires for download for Windows and the Linux so I'm going to uh, download for uh, Linux click this and it will uh, download in the thing it will take some time uh, regarding to your uh, network speed it will take the downloading and installation time so after installation uh, okay now we will open this and go to property and permission give the allow execution close it and now open Okay, now it launch right now we need to give our mail id i already log in with my uh, gmail this is my college mail with in media thing so seeing that i am going to log in now okay now type my password Okay, after, after login with my uh, registered NVIDIA mail ID, uh, we need to uh, read this terms and condition uh, which is given by the universe and give continue and give continue and this for station setup, give continue and this, uh, and this is for uh, installation of uh, cache, give and it will take some time. Now we install the universe on our system, right? Next, uh, we need to download the isocross, right? As Before an that, animator, designer, or engineer, you can bring the power of collaboration yeah, between okay, applications wow. and people to your workflow. Within okay. 
now go to the documentation here you can see now we are installing the cache right next we need to install the nucleus click this and they will give the steps how to install and next is visual studio editor you already have in your system so that's not a problem so uh, now install these things so go to libraries you can see here now now we need to install the ice across right for this uh, go to search and type ice across Yes, uh, I need to type in smalls. Is across. Type Isaac. Ah, oh, you can see here Isaac Sim. We need to type and click this, and we will download the latest version. It's in 23.11. So install this. It will take some time, I think. So, we'll see how to uh, learn the isocross uh, from documentation. Uh, for especially, we'll uh, we'll start with this thing like introduction, how to use the UI and how to introductory things, how to make the uh, GUI to work with uh, given uh, extensions and how to use the rise across and ROS bridge to uh, communicate between Omniverse and the uh, ROS packages and uh, motion generation for our uh, Robotom UIDF, how to import the UIDF model, how to import the UST model, and how to import the pre built environment in our Isaac environment. So, these things already have in our uh, Isaac documentation. So you can learn and you can uh, do the reverse engineering from that and you can learn a lot from the, those things, right? And now the isocross is downloading. So what's the main advantage of using isocross is uh, we are using now a gazebo to simulate our robot to make the uh, realistic things, but that is not uh, that much accurate. But it's an isocross is an, uh, built with an omniverse environment. So uh this have a photorealistic and will make the synthetic data generation for uh, autonomous vehicles or autonomous robots to predict the uh, outcome of uh, uh, motion control things so that's the thing we need to follow uh, using a uh, ice cross and main thing is it a photorealistic environment will be created and our simulation will be look like a realistic robot so the prototype thing will be uh, carried out uh, by the ice cross so that's the advantage. The prototype will be definitely will uh, reduce the cost of the prototyping, and this thing will be take over as a rapid prototyping model, and the exact uh, photorealistic thing. And and also we have a proper documentation from the Nvidia. We can learn a lot from that. And I already posted a th three or four videos regarding this. Like first video is an Jetbot simulation. The Jetbot is an A bot and we can do the object detection, object recognition and this line following, a line detection things already pre-built with this and using Jupyter Notebook, using IP address of the jetpod will control the robot by remotely from our laptop and the will program will be run in Jupyter Notebook that's the thing in hardware, we need to buy around 20,000 I think, 21,000 but in a simulation thing, you need to import the UIDF model of a jetpod and you need to add action graphs and these things you need to follow and action graph is nothing but it, it look like a uh, package will use a uh, uh, publisher subscriber package the publisher will publish some data to the subscribers so like that the uh, uh, omnigraph will be work the ladder value ladder action graph will be forward the information to the v that is cmd well the action uh, articulator or uh, uh, differential control action graph will be subscribed to the ladder uh, thing so like that it will be work so we'll see in our uh, documentation go to ROS in that here ROS tutorials go to camera or uh, driving turtle board you can see here differential drive articulator controller and this is a playback ticket so okay differential control is in two wheel right using two wheel controller we are going to control the robot 
So Articulator will be make the CMD well velocity command to the robot to move from one place to another place using a teleoperation motion. So using this, I uh, will control the robot. It's, an, uh, it's very easy to visualize uh, which uh, node is which node is connected with uh, another node or which node is communicating between the node and how it is communicating, how the data will be transmitting. Those things will be easily visualized in the action graph. So we'll use a Python API for controlling the robot. But uh, using action graph, you will understand how the workflow is exactly, you know, especially for ROS. Right. So the documentation is clear, and here you can see the camera uh, thing. So this is for camera. Using this action graph, you can enable the camera in the your robot. Right. And the lidar also we have. depth perception thing depth camera action graph we have and next is some ladder thing and ladder plugin or uh, ladder action graph using this we can uh, communicate between our ladder sensor so this is a thing now it's downloading after downloading we need to launch the uh, Omniverse, it's around 8 GB. Okay, and after uh, launching, we can see in a library and we need to launch. And the uh, uh, source files will be available on OPT directory. You can navigate to the directory and you can launch your uh, ROS uh, bridge to communicate between your ROS and the Omniverse to transmit uh, all these data to the Omniverse. Okay, thank you.